Tell us about these victims, Greg. We're, we're, you've seen them, you've represented them. Where do, where do these folks come from and, and what gets them into this situation? Unfortunately, Kirby, there's no single profile. But what we can do is look at uh, what makes someone maybe vulnerable to being victimized uh, in a human trafficking or sex trafficking situation. In large part, you see uh, runaway teenagers mm -hmm. that by virtue of their circumstances, whether they be in a tough environment at home or uh, be the victim of child sexual abuse, think that you know, getting out of here mm -hmm. might be the only option. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, uh, once they are on the streets, uh, someone else uh, very quickly re-victimizes that person in the form of uh, sex trafficking. And hey, you're yeah, some go kids too, yeah, right? I mean, Greg, it, I mean, these you are know, young people. Unfortunately, I have seen uh, trafficking victims as young as 11, 12 years old. We currently represent someone who was victimized when she was a 17-year-old runaway, and she was victimized here in Alabama in a motel in oh, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And so what happens? The, once, once, uh, if a kid runs away, then they're sort of lured into it by, how, how does that happen? In large part, uh, someone sees that they have a vulnerable person uh, on the streets without really many options. And they will either use the ruse of a romantic uh, relationship or the threats, uh, threats of violence, or it could be as much as if you want to survive, here's how you're going to do it. Um, and unfortunately, this is an industry that by virtue of the internet and motels is somewhat hidden in plain sight. It's happening around all of us, uh, but it's, it's been able to thrive in those types of uh, environments by virtue of the internet. And right here in our community, yeah. here. Yeah, right here, any, any, along the interstates especially, 65, 20, 59. Atlanta is the fifth ranked uh, worst city for sex trafficking uh, and obviously our proximity to Atlanta uh, anytime there are major events such as Talladega uh, or anything that will draw people into town uh, generally speaking you will see an uptick in the amount of sex trafficking that occurs in the area. Mm -hmm.